managing the heparin infusion when your patient's APTT falls within the target range and also within the subtherapeutic range. When we wish to manage our patient's heparin infusion, we need to navigate back to the order screen and back to the heparin infusion power plan. We are able to see what the patient's latest results are. From this screen here, we can actually click down on related results and that will show the latest results for your patient. So you're able to actually see at the point of modifying your power plan, you're able to see the latest results here. We'll start off in this scenario by pretending that our patient's APTT has returned and it is 80, which is in the target range. So to manage a patient's heparin infusion when the APTT falls within the target range, we click on that phase of the power plan. We have reference text at the top here, letting us know that no adjustment is needed to the existing heparin infusion order and we need to repeat the APTTs after four to six hours until we have reached two consecutive APTTs. So all we would do in this phase is order the follow-up APTTs. So we don't need to make any adjustments to the heparin infusions, nor do we need to re-bolus or withhold or perform any other action on the infusion. But if your patient's APTT returned and it was 51, well then they're in the subtherapeutic range and we would need to go to the relevant uh, phase of the power plan. So for an APTT of 51, we will be selecting this phase of the power plan here, APTT less than 55. We have reference text at the top, which is telling us that first of all, we need to modify our existing heparin infusion order by increasing the rate by four units per kilo per hour. So we'll address that section first. So we want to modify our existing heparin infusion order. So we just come over to the left here. We click on the phase called heparin IV infusion order. And we modify the infusion. I'm going to uh, close down my view menu there just to have more room on the screen here. So I want to modify my infusion here by increasing the rate by four units per kilo per hour. So I find the infusion, I right click, I modify, and I increase the rate by four units per kilo per hour. Then I click orders for signature. Now I'm going to go back to my phase where I'll continue managing the subtherapeutic APTT level. Once I've modified the existing heparin infusion order, I'm now going to re-bolus as per guidelines. If you work in a unit that does not uh, bolus, then you would not do this step. However, I'm demonstrating the full functionality of this power plan. When I tick in the tick box here, I know that a dose calculator will appear because I can see the icon here. The dosage calculator appears on my screen with the target dose, the actual weight of my patient, which you can modify or enter if it is blank, and it calculates a final dose. Please be aware that the system will not stop you from ordering a dose that exceeds the um, maximum daily dose. So it's always important to double check the figure that's in here and use clinical judgment accordingly. We also would like to order a follow-up APTT in six hours time. So to manage a subtherapeutic APTT, which is 51, we've navigated to that section of the power plan. We modified the existing heparin infusion order by increasing the rate by four units per kilo per hour. And we did that by clicking on the phase that includes the heparin infusion order. Then we re as per guidelines by ticking in the bolus checkbox and we've ordered up a, a follow-up APTT. So now we can initiate this phase of the power plan, click orders for signature and these orders will be active as soon as I sign. In the next heparin video, I will be showing you how to manage a heparin infusion when your patient falls within a supertherapeutic APTT level.